Hey guys, so what if here? Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode for Race 14 and 36, Season 3. We're in a Cup Series. We're going to Pocono. Last race was at Dover. Won the race, swept all the stages. Like, what else is new? So, Pocono, another power track, so I think we'll do very fine there. Settings, legend difficulty 13%, race length, four times wear, same stuff as always. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get right into qualifying, put in a default setup, and we'll see where I start here at Pocono. Uh, turn three, we'll see what this lap time is. I'm assuming mid 20s, like always, and 30 seconds, so not mid 20s. Wow. Okay, game. Threw me a goddamn curveball. Truex on the pole. Ooh, I like this race already. Today, we make our first stop at Pocono Raceway for the running of the Pocono 400. The tricky triangle, as it's known, is different than any other track these drivers will face all year. Pocono has only three turns, each one unique in design. That odd layout makes the setup of the car absolutely crucial. Plus, a team's ability to make in-race adjustments is often the key to a good performance here. The green flag is about to drop, so let's go down to the track. Here we go, race about to begin, get ready. And green flag's out, we're underway at Pocono. Let's see how many laps we have in this first stage. It's five laps and 10 fuel, so it's gonna be, I don't, I don't think we can make it all the way to the end of stage two, so I might actually end up hitting. But since so we're starting in, ooh, wow, they just all stopped there. So, um, like I was saying, Pocono is a very, um, power track so I again I think we'll we'll do well just hope they give me room here going into the you know the, ooh, god Eric Jones jeez he just stopped and he's getting sideways oh my god I, I couldn't go anywhere oh no I think there goes any chance of uh, getting stage points god damn it that's the, what the second time now he's just cut me off what a ooh, ooh Eric Jones you're you're making me salty I don't like it. God damn. So let's just get a run on him. Just fly by him. God damn, they're just going. They're just backing up the corner so much. Like, I might as well just not even be in the racing line. Because <laughs> they're just in my way. <laughs> I'm get by them, no problem. Trying to get by Vidal. Get by the Vendetto. So, good job for me. So... Kind of curious if we can actually get stage points. Once this field kind of separates, I think we'll be okay. It just they're just all bunched up right now. And there we go. I, I think we'll get stage points. How many races has it been now? Since like that, we keep getting stage wins. Like, I don't know how many races it's been. I can't remember the last race where I finished outside stage points. Maybe since Atlanta. Maybe since then. I really don't know. So. Have to wait and see. But yeah, as you can see on the, the front stretch and everything, and all these straightaways, the car carries so much speed, it's uh, it just feels wrong. Just utterly wrong. <laughs> just try to get by Menard here and then run down Hamlin, so. Hey, we're almost in stage point territory. Last lap of stage number one. Stop. Kurt Busch got by me for a split second. He actually got by me. Actually, surprisingly, it took me a few laps to actually get up to these lead pack cars. I don't know if it's because of the arrow or what. I don't know. I think this is going to be the first stage since Atlanta where we're not going to get any points. So that's going to be also very shocking as we get a great run here on the back stretch or whatever. I don't. I don't know. Get to the outside of Stenhouse. Probably the worst corner to make a pass is obviously it just doesn't work. Oof. Oof. Okay. All right. This race, <laughs> this race is not going as great as I used to expect for me. Oof. Got almost hit the back of Suarez. So we're going to end up stage one in like 17th. So, pff, yeah. This, this, this was not an ideal race so far. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked. So everybody should be pitting here. I will too. I'll just take... I don't know. Just need a splash of fuel for this stage. So, yeah. Splash of fuel, two tires, repair damage. And... Okay. 
I wasn't expecting to gain that much spots. <laughs> I really wasn't. Okay. Well, here we go. Green flag back out. I, I guess stage two is a possibility. So we got six laps, seven fuel so while we're actually just cutting it. So that does that mean like a splash was literally like just how much was it even? Two laps worth? God, I'm actually curious now because if this goes down to six, we're gonna be a little bit short. So I I don't know, I guess I think we're good though, so I don't know what I'm worried about. But obviously we got the lead, we can just kind of chill now to the end of stage two. I honestly wasn't expecting to, to get that many, that many freaking spots out of pit road. What the? Is it because I changed the batteries? Is that why the caution came out? And I hit my, I, I slammed the controller on my ball a little bit. I almost hurt. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna pit. I'm gonna go full tank to be safe, four tires, not repair damage. We're probably gonna lose spots here, cause God forbid I take four tires and fuel. And, okay, ninth place, so there's people that stayed out. So we were, surprisingly, we were the first person off pit road. I'll take it. That was weird. That was really fucking weird. Normally I don't pause the game for anything, but the damn controller legitimately died because I needed, I needed to put in batteries. And as soon as I unpaused, there was a wreck behind me. It's like when you unpause, the AI just can't handle it. You know, God forbid, you know, if somebody pauses during a game. How dare, how dare any human beings as we get off to a very good start, almost gonna get the lead almost off of turn one. Frame rates are dropping behind me, so something might have happened. But we're good to go. So Yeah, this race is gonna be pretty much ours as long as I hit my marks. I mean all those cars up ahead of me, they stayed out, they're gonna hold everybody up. I mean it's a match made in heaven, really. Four laps to go in the race, really nothing too much to talk about. Just been looking at my, you know, tire wear and seeing how that's going, because that's literally more interesting and engaging than this race right now. So I've just been watching that and being like Oh, that's how much I've lost on the right fronts in in a lap. That that's what's been more interesting right now. That, I'm just been looking at that, so I'm I'm having fun in my own own weird way. Well, here we go, white flag. Um, I, I, obviously, as you can see, there's cars in the distance. I know, I sure as hell know, our lead is not that disgustingly big, but it's just those numbskulls that stayed out. That's probably those guys that pitted. So. I don't think we're going to be able to catch them, but I mean, there's something, there's something ahead of us. I would like look back and see what's going on, but you know, I can't do that in this game. So, just going through turn two here for the final time. I, I don't know what we're really to say, it's just, I can at least say the first day was interesting. I mean, I've never really had a stage where I didn't get stage points since Atlanta, so that was... That was interesting. So there we go, off of turd number three. We're gonna get another win in the crew mode. Okay, thank you David Hoops. He's not being as dickish with the white flag, you know, caution bullshit. So I don't, I don't know, but <laughs> it was a good race. I mean, what, what else is there to say? I could just sweep the next 33 fucking races. Why not? Or 34, I think it's 34. Here's the race results. It, I don't know what to say, really. Um, it's it, it just this game, man. It's just I don't know. I mean, at least J Junior beat Jeffrey, so there's there's that. Menard had something go on with him. I guess he was one of those people that got wrecked at, at the end of stage two or whatever. So I don't know. Oh my god! So more wins, more stage points. Whatever. Next race, I believe, is Michigan. Yep, Michigan. So that'll be interesting, I guess. We'll check the rivals thing. I'm assuming Eric Jones is going to be a little bit salty as I got blooped. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, he is mad. Chase Elliott's still mad, too. Like, I don't I don't remember the last time I got into him. But Eric Jones makes sense, though, because I got into him. And he's probably salty because 
I'm a rookie in the series, and I'm absolutely destroying him in every sense of the word. So I, I got nothing more to say. I was just, I don't know. This game is just way too easy. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, if you want to leave a like, go ahead. If you want to leave a dislike, go ahead. In fact, I'm actually embracing it. I got so much, or a, a reasonable amount, in the Lowe's race. So Charlotte race or something. I think I can't remember so I, I actually embrace it so if people watch this point and they actually dislike it then I know they're actually watching to us this to the end so that's that'll be that'll be a neat way to, to show to me that you watch the video all the way at the end I'll be interested I got, I got nothing more to say also big shout out to my tier 3 patreon supporters the Devin Reynolds, Brian Hill, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, and Jeff Gordon for donation Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you for your help and support. It does mean a lot to me, and you guys are freaking awesome. I'll see you all in Michigan. We'll probably win there, too. What's the likelihood of us winning? Like, 95% now? So, I mean, it's a good it's a good odd. So, I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.